Okay, so out of the 231, the transfer case switch looks like this guy. Um, the one in the 242 looks like this guy. This one worked, but obviously it's not interchangeable. This is the electronic transfer case switch, so we do have to um, use that one if you are looking for parts. They're for some reason hard to find by me. Uh, O-ring comes with it, goes on. I like to try to get O-rings just a little wet, whether it's spit, oil, or something, just so that they don't uh, crunch up when they're getting screwed on. So this goes on on top of the transfer case, and we'll just put it on using a 7-8 socket. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm just taking the trans mount back down because... As you probably saw, that bolt in the back in the first video was uh, unable to screw into the trap nut there. It um, The nut started spinning. So what I'm going to do instead is take just a piece of plate steel. You'll see me kind of mark it up here and measure it. And uh, mark where the holes are, and then I will just weld two studs on the bottom of that plate steel. Okay, so what's next is I'm going to just cut this through here, and this will be the plate that we weld to the underbody. Since the nuts in there are toast, and I don't want to drill holes through and then try to weld nuts, just that will probably end up getting welded to the skin. So what I'm going to do is weld some studs onto here, and uh, use those to attach the transmission cross member, and then we'll weld the perimeter of this to the frame rail, give ourselves some pretty good strength, hopefully. So not too bad. We got the plate in on this side with the two studs. They're bolted in. They don't hang too low, so it shouldn't be too bad. And the other side's all torqued up too, so we're good to go. Uh, I threw some black paint on there, so it's not as rusty and nasty looking, but that's done for now.